Hello, my name is Herb. Welcome to my shop. Uh, today we're going to uh, measure the concentricity of my three-jaw chuck. Uh, I measured it uh, earlier in the week and uh, preliminary results were that uh, it was out as much as 8,000 concentricity. So I'm going to try uh, try it again and I'll videotape it this time and the setup here is I have a, a Noga indicator holder I've got a Shars uh, indicator and I've got the indicator set on zero and the uh, indicator tip is pretty well dead top dead center so uh, I've got it zeroed out uh, right now we're going to move the uh, chuck around and see what we got. And what I'm going to do is I'm the lowest spot. I'm going to set that at zero. Okay, and then and turning it, we should get the total run out. And it looks like we've got on this uh, piece of uh, drill rod, I've got, uh, it looks like six thou. And uh, so we're going to try various things here. I'm going to try tightening up the uh, chuck as best I can. And we'll run, rerun the test. And actually, it increased to about uh, six and a half thou. You can see the uh, the indicator dial. So that's about as good as we're going to get on this uh, piece of. Steel. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace that with a uh, <coughs> three-quarter inch end mill. We'll try to run it on the uh, the uh, edge here. Let's see uh, what we can get with this. In the Good and tight. Let's move the indicator over just a little bit. Let's do a zero. Okay, there's a zero. And looks like on this one we've got about four and a half thou of run out. The chuck is specced at three, and uh, I'm surprised that we have as much as six thou on one part, and uh, this one is only about four and a half. Let's see if we can find another. Here's another end mill, half inch. Let's we'll see what uh, what we can see on that. I would think the shanks on these are pretty concentric, but who knows? Let's see if we can uh, get down here on this. Let's find our low spot. Looks like right there. We'll adjust for zero. Okay. <coughs> and there's four and a half thou. So, the uh, drill rod is uh, six thou. And it's uh, 
I think this is a five eighths drill rod. The three quarter is uh, four and a half, and this is uh, four and a half. So that's not bad. That's a little bit better than what I had the other day. And uh, I don't know that I have anything larger to test uh, right now. So it looks like four and a half thou is what I'm getting. And uh, I've cleaned the, the jaws and uh, the scroll and uh, everything that I can think of. And I'm still uh, getting uh, the same answer. I'm going to put the uh, three quarter inch uh, end mill back in and test it one more time to see uh, if anything has changed. Make sure that the jaws are, are good and clean. So, uh, one and a half thou uh, is not terribly too much uh, to expect. Uh, I'd like to see it dead on, but these cheap Chinese lathes and their uh, um, cheap chucks, uh, you know, you never can tell. So we'll zero that out. Let's take it around and find the low spot. Looks like we're pretty well on it. And what do we see in here? One, two, three. That's four thou this time. So, uh, not too bad. Let's crank it up a little bit and see if we can improve it any. That's about uh, <coughs> three and three quarters thou, not quite uh, four. So uh, I'm surprised. Anyway, I'm going to show here the spindle and the, the uh, body of the chuck itself Cranking the wrong, wrong button there. Wrong knob. Now we're on zero. So there's a half a thou. Half a thou out on the spindle nose. Let's take it over on the chuck body. Just bounce this a little bit. zero there. pretty well dead nuts on it. When I move it, it uh, changes a bit, but when it stops, it goes back to zero. So the uh, chuck itself is dead nuts on. So the arrow is coming 
from the jaws. Uh, so, uh, any comments, uh, be welcome and uh, thanks for watching.